I'm Kelly Worthman in the CBSN Denver studio. It's a new year and with it comes new goals and many of us choose resolutions around better health and losing weight. Joining me is Erica Ballard, health expert and coach. Thank you for being with us again, Erica. So tell us, why is it a good idea to use the new year to set new health goals? The reason the new year is so great to set new health goals is because that marker of January one, January 1, just it triggers something in us, just the way Monday does or the first day of the month. So setting that intention right when the new year sits, it triggers your brain to really want to commit to these new things. Absolutely. So losing weight is a common goal for a lot of people, but it can be hard to stick to that resolution through the year. What advice do you have to stay healthy long term? So there's a few things um, that I, I tell people, and believe it or not, it's a lot more of what not to do in order to get us from point A to point B. And one of the things that I really recommend is to not only set weight goals. I know that's what we tend to do, but the reason I say don't do this is because we typically use weight as a catch-all for all things health-related and all things we expect weight loss to bring us, be it better uh, sleep, improved confidence, more energy, et cetera. And like I tell my clients, weight loss is not a catch-all for those things. In fact, sustainable weight loss usually comes after improved health outcomes. So if you want to get healthy in the new year, if you want to drop weight, make sure that you're not just putting a pound there, but also putting goals in place that allow you to hit the things that you expect weight loss to bring. And, you know, you and I had actually talked about this. You say you have things to stop doing. You have three things to stop doing if you want to keep your resolution. So explain what those are. Sure, and the first one was that I just mentioned, so not only setting weight goals. Now, the second one is to not just set and forget your goals, as in don't set goals in January and then never look at them again. And Kelly, the only reason I'm calling it out is because how many times have we done this? How many times <laughs> have, we, have we set goals and then never looked at them again? And I know that doesn't work for me, and I know it doesn't work for other people because we have the science to now show that in order for goals to get ingrained in your brain and for your brain then to actively go after them, you've got to look at your goals regularly. That's why you can't just set and forget your goals if health is a priority for you this year. And you, and you also say that health isn't a linear process. Explain what that means. Sure, this is a really important thing. So many of us, we think or we want to believe that if we do A plus B, we're gonna get C. As in, if I eat this way and do these workouts, I'm gonna get these results. And while I would love to tell you that's how it normally works, it doesn't because healing and health, it's not a linear process. And what that means is that your body usually has to do some internal work in order to, or rather before you get those external weight goals, those external health gains that you're looking for. And I say this really not to be discouraging, but actually to be empowering and to give people freedom because I want folks to know that it's going to take a little bit of time to figure out the right thing for you because the reality is when it comes to health, you know, you're going to have to kiss a few frogs and try a few <laughs> things and put different things together to figure out your unique path to wellness. Well, sure. Everybody in every body is different. So yeah, you have to figure out what works best. And it's also important to point out, Erica, that weight loss and good health are not synonymous, right? Very much so. I am a stickler for this. We, we talk about it like they are. We, we, you know, we've been almost conditioned to believe they are, but the reality is you can lose weight unhealthily. And you know if you're doing that, if you drop more than two pounds a week after the initial water, wet, or water weight shed. So if people are trying to drop weight this year, kudos to you. I'm all about it. But just make sure you do it healthily and just remember that Momentum snowballs if you keep at it. Absolutely. Erica, thank you as always for joining us. We always appreciate your insight and we look forward to talking to you again. Maybe we can check in on our own health goals with each other, hold each other accountable, right? I think that's also important. Well, for more of Erica's advice on staying healthy, just head to cbsdenver.com. We'll